Asia is home to endless incredible sights. There are thousands of years of history to discover, some of the world's most stunning landscapes to take in, and an unreal amount of tasty food and drink to enjoy. Asia is also home to a lot of weird stuff, and I mean a lot. From the bonkers to the brilliant, Asia's ideas and inventions are what makes the continent like nowhere else in the planet. Get ready to have your mind blown. Here are 30 things you'll only see in Asia. When you think of suitable containers for hot liquids, a flimsy plastic bag probably won't be at the top of your list. But all over Asia, flimsy baggies are used to serve boiling broths at food carts and in restaurants. They're a cheap, easy-to-carry vessel for liquids that street vendors all around Asia make use of. When you think of chickens, you think of golden feathers, right? Wrong. There are at least three black chicken varieties. Check these furry guys out. Not only are their feathers black, their flesh and bones also have a darker than normal hue, too. Silky chickens are thought to date back to the Chinese Han Dynasty in 206 BC, and the Chinese name is Wuguji, meaning black boned because of, well, their black bones. They're so impressive that Marco Polo even referenced one in his journal, calling it a furry chicken. Not only are they cool to look at, but they also taste great, and their meat is considered a gourmet food. Elsewhere in Indonesia, you'll find Ayam Samani chickens, which are also entirely black, including their feathers, beak, and internal organs. They're much more common in Asia, but in America, you'll find it almost impossible to find one. In fact, this scarcity is part of the reason they've been sold for as much as $2,500 in America. Now, this is something we can all get on board with, office snaps. Inamuri is a Japanese practice of falling asleep anywhere you want, even at work. The word comes from e, which means to be present, and numuri, which is to dream. Still, it's only acceptable at certain instances, such as if you're at a meeting or class. Japan has a culture of hard work and long hours, so this is actually considered an excusable sign of dedication to the job, as it's assumed the person stayed up late doing work to the point of complete exhaustion. The idea is to lightly doze, not to kick out some serious Zs, so don't be tempted to take your duvet into work tomorrow. Asia is full of bizarre signs, and this warning is one of my favorites. In Dubai, you're not allowed to carry fish on the metro, apparently for the comfort of other passengers. Tough luck if you've had a big catch that day, you'll have to hail a taxi instead. Presumably, fish merchants were using the metro to transport their catch to the fish market, and stunk out the whole system while doing so, which is why this sign exists. Oh, and the law applies to live ones too, so there'll be no day trips on the metro for you and your beloved goldfish. Airports are usually awful, boring places, but Singapore's Changi Airport is on a mission to change that by being incredible. Food courts serving fast food burgers are replaced by stands offering every gourmet cuisine imaginable, and you can hang out in the video game lounge or the movie theater to kill time between connecting flights. And if you're feeling stressed from your journey, you can have a massage and pamper session before taking a nap in the day spa. There's also an actual butterfly garden. Their website also has a page dedicated to a guide for awesome Instagram shots. With all this on offer, you don't even need to leave the airport to go on holiday. Do you love to sing, but your voice is embarrassingly bad? If so, I can relate. And this Japanese silent karaoke microphone could be the answer to both of our prayers. Simply stick it over your mouth, press play on your favorite karaoke classic, and you can sing your heart out without ruining anyone's day. Perfect. Game shows in Asia are bonkers. Take this Japanese game show which sees contestants guessing which items are made of candy and which aren't. If they get it right, they get a tasty treat. But if they're wrong, it might result in a trip to the dentist. What's not to love about watching people nibble on shoes, tables, potato frames, and bow ties? Only in Japan, huh? Asia is home to a never-ending wealth of bad translations that are charming and hilarious. This sweet sign might be a poorly translated keep off the grass warning, or maybe grass does actually dream in Japan. There's no doubt that these are translation errors. This dish certainly left diners guessing, and I don't even know what to say about this one, but it sounds delicious. Speaking of delicious, how about some of this tasty broth? Or how about some Chinese mutant coconut candy? Who knows where these translations came from, but you can buy them online if you fancy trying them. Both sound so good. I'm seriously spoiled for choice here, guys. Japanese vending machines are known to be bonkers, and it seems that you can get everything you could ever need from one, as well as plenty of things that absolutely no one will ever need. Used ladies' underpants are definitely the weirdest things you can buy from a Tokyo vending machine, but it's definitely also odd to be able to buy pasta sauce and tinned carrots too. Or how about some battleships? You never know when you need to go to fake war. 
In a country famed for anime, it's no surprise that their public transportation is themed accordingly. And this Japanese bus is THE way to get to school. Is it just me, or is the Pokemon theme tune stuck in your head now? In Chinese parliament, order and structure is important to proceedings. So much so, in fact, that in the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, even the teacups have to be perfectly aligned. And I mean perfectly. Look how much effort is going into this. Just goes to show how inefficient communism is if they actually hire people to do stuff like this. If you're a die-hard gum chewer, you might want to avoid Singapore, as it's totally illegal and comes with a thousand Singaporean dollar fine. The law came into effect in the 80s in an effort to reduce how much the government was spending on cleaning up gum. If you're heading there soon, you might want to stock up on breath mitts instead. How about a refreshing glass of horse milk to sip on while you watch the remainder of this video? No, I thought not. This uh, tasty beverage is an important part of Central Asian culture and is widely produced in Russia. Kumi's is the brand of choice because it claims to be 100% mare's milk, no ponies whatsoever. It's not only soup that's served in bags, hot and cold drinks are too. It actually makes sense in countries like the Philippines where soda bottles are mostly glass and can't be taken away from the store. And as one Reddit commenter said, you can't hang a cup. QR codes are incredibly popular in China, and some beggars even accept donations using them. This ginormous QR code takes that love one step further. It's made from 130,000 trees and actually works when scanned from the sky. This giant green code leads users to the village's tourism page in China's WeChat social network. In most places, people stay well away from railroad tracks for safety, but not in Thailand. A lack of space has meant that this market is almost on the tracks of the Miklong Railway. It's so tight, in fact, that vendors often have to quickly move their wares to avoid getting ruined every time they hear a train coming. This invention actually makes a lot of sense. In Japan, wearing shoes inside is frowned upon, so people will often be barefoot in traditional restaurants and schools. Going to the bathroom barefoot is pretty gross, so toilet slippers were invented to protect your feet from, well, bathroom stuff. In Korea, large dogs are rare, and you're much more likely to see Shih Tzus and Chow Chows trotting around than St. Bernard's or Great Danes. Big dogs are so uncommon, in fact, that this is what happens when locals see one. Oh, everyone loves a good boy. Men hate shopping, or at least that's the stereotype, and China has found a solution. The Global Harbor Mall in Shanghai has introduced glass pods, where men can be left to play old school video games rather than getting dragged around the shops. They're probably saving dozens of marriages from disaster every day. Asia's roads are home to some questionable driving, and these guys are the perfect proof. Why make two trips when you can make one? That seems to be the attitude of this Chinese biker. And what about this motorcyclist in Vietnam? Safety first? Yeah, right. If you take the train to work, you probably complain about your commute, am I right? Well, the next time you're about to, spare a thought for these guys in Bangladesh. Japan also has overcrowding issues, and it's actually someone's job to push people into packed trains. They're called train stuffers. Charming, huh? Moving into a high-rise building is tricky, especially when it comes to big pieces of furniture. How are you supposed to get that huge bookcase into your apartment? Well, like this, apparently. It's not even strapped down! Crazy! The average height of an Asian male is said to be 1.65 meters, so it makes sense that things such as ATMs are built to suit those of a smaller stature. It can make things kind of tricky for visitors, though, as this guy found out. What's so weird about ice cream sandwiches? We all loved them as kids, right? Well, yes, but in China, they have actual ice cream sandwiches made out of sliced bread. The bread used is actually Asian pandan bread, which is soft and fluffy. And maybe not such a weird thing to combine ice cream with after all. In China, you're also likely to find this common but worrying sight, taxi drivers checking stocks as they transport you to your destination. Keeping your eye on the road clearly isn't a concern for these cabbies. In Asia, a fear of the number four is common. This can be seen in any country that has a language based on the Chinese kanji, and there's evidence of it everywhere. It's official. Japan loves good shit. These suspicious-looking treats are actually karinto, a traditional sweet treat made of brown sugar, flour, and yeast. The package even comes with a handy guide on how to eat this tasty snack. Best enjoyed never, I say. A word of advice. Avoid Chinese water parks. Why? This is why. Have you ever seen a place so packed with people? You can forget swimming or stretching out and catching some rays. There's no space for any of that. And if you get dragged under the surface, you'd struggle finding a gap back up from all those kicking legs. It must be a pain being a lifeguard out there. And don't think you can avoid the crowds by heading to the beach instead. It's no better there, my friends. 
My final thing you can only see in Asia is cherry blossom crisps. What does cherry blossom even taste like? Are savory snacks that taste like flowers a good thing? So many questions! Are you listening, Japan and China? If you've ever tried these crisps, let me know what they're like in the comments. So which one amazed you the most? Have you seen anything incredible in Asia? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've ever wondered why we're launching $1.5 billion into the sun, you should click the video on screen now. Till next time, thanks for watching.